the Inca Empire. In this module, you will learn about the rise and fall of the Inca Empire and its main features. The Incas came and settled in the Peruvian valley of Cusco around the 11th century. The Inca Empire gradually spread in the eras of present-day Peru, Ecuador, Chile and Argentina. The empire was divided up into quarters called Suyu. The four Suyu were Chinchai Suyu North, Anti Suyu East, Kola Suyu South and Kunti Suyu West. At the center of the four quarters was the capital city of Cusco. Hence the Inca Empire was known as Tavan Tinsuyu, which means the four regions. The Incas lived in adobe, brick homes with thatched roofs. The land was divided into three parts. One part was reserved for families and the other two parts were meant for the sun god and the king. Every year, inspectors would visit the villages to enumerate people in every village and also keep an account of food and animals. Majority of these people were farmers while some were soldiers and artisans. Only the wealthy children went to school while the peasant children learned a craft or skill and began to work at a young age. The Inca government was a monarchy ruled by a single leader called the Sapa Inca which means sole ruler. Below the Sapa Inca was the Viceroy or Incap Rantin, who was a close relative of the Sapa Inca and worked as his closest advisor. Each of the four provinces of the empire was ruled by a governor called an Apu. The highest priest was also a powerful person in power due to the importance of religion in the Inca empire. The Incas believed Vira Kosha was the first god who created the earth, the sky, the other gods and humans. They also believed that the sun god or Inti was the most important god as he was the link between the people and god Vira Kosha. That is why they built Kori Kansha which means the golden temple in Cusco to the sun god. They also worshipped the moon, the stars, lightning and other natural phenomena. They strongly believed in afterlife and took great care in embalming and mummifying the bodies of the dead before burial. The Incas built a large system of roads paved with stones that went throughout their empire. The main purpose for the roads was for communication, moving army troops and to transport goods. Communication was accomplished by runners on the roads who would pass on information speedily from one station to the next. A quipus was a series of colored strings with knots. The number of knots, the size of the knots and the distance between knots helped the Incas in collecting data and keeping records. The Incas were known for their massive sturdy stone buildings and forts that survived for hundreds of years despite the many earthquakes that occurred in Peru. Many palaces, temples and the fort built by Tupac is found in Peru. Two of the most famous buildings of Incas is the palace on the island in Lake Titicaca and the Moon Temple. The Incas built large granaries in order to make provisions for food grains during calamities. The Spanish arrived on the west coast of South America in the 1500s, where a large portion of the region was ruled by the Inca Empire. Tupac was a prominent leader of the Incas, who had fought the earlier tribe of Chimos 
and overpowered them. Over a period of time, his descendants worked to establish an empire. However, in 1532, a Spanish army of only 200 defeated the Inca soldiers and took over the kingdom. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on the Inca Empire.